Welcome, welcome. This is a spirit message for you from spirit. This is for insight to your situation or anything that's surrounding you, the energy that is surrounding you for your reflection and your highest good. This is going to be a quick spirit message. Okay, so keep that in mind. Um, let's go ahead and just get started, right? Hope you guys are doing well. I am doing this on my laptop. So uh, I do apologize for any of the quality that is being seen it's just easier for me to go ahead and record and straight upload and not have to worry about it whenever it done you know gets done processing it puts it out there on youtube and i don't have to come back and do all kinds of stuff so here we go and I, why is my face so itchy it's like whenever i do videos i just start getting itchy feelings or like my nose starts tingling i don't like, I'll be fine until I hit the record button and then it goes. So, Aquarius, let's see what messages we have for you for your highest good. Ooh, overall energy is the hermit. So, definitely some reflection going on. Definitely some taking back, taking a step back, evaluating things. Where does your light want to go? Where do you want to bring yourself that's what I'm really hearing here, okay? So what messages? That was quick. That was quick. We have the Two of Swords and the Ten of Swords. So this is a decision that you're trying to make here. You're making some kind of choice in the matter. Um, maybe there is just a new beginning waiting for you here with the Ten of Swords being there. Uh, a lot of mental, a lot of thinking things through. So it makes sense why the overall is that hermit. Because you had to take a step back. Thinking about what your next step is going to be and where you want to go i feel like here this in this two of swords it is definitely something that is um either intuitionally is that a word <laughs> based or just emotional based something that you're being drawn to that you feel like you need to go there is this ending on something there is this you know feeling like it's time to move forward it's you're putting all these other things and thoughts of the past away like we can't keep looking at those things we have to look at the day ahead the next day the brighter day the future where you want to go and i feel like there is a tug with your emotional part that kind of pulls you back keeps you in this contemplative mode okay so hermit's here for you to say hey what is it that i want as aquarius where do i want to go where do i want my wishes to take me what do i wish for okay we have the king of swords so this is the communication coming through where you're going to have to stand up you're going to have to say the truth you're going to have to speak your truth and you're going to have to confront it head on all right this decision that you're trying to make here it is time to say what it is okay mean what you say say what you mean all right feel what you say say what you feel either way you want to look at that so we have the three of cups Let's see what else we got. This whole stack just came out, and I'm going to take it. Four of Coins, King of Pentacles, ooh, Six of Cups, Nine of Wands, and the Page of Swords. And lastly, we have that Hermit that wants to come back out. So, what I'm feeling here for you, Aquarius, okay, you had a lot of fun. You had a lot of good times, right? There were happy, I feel like there's happiness that surrounded whatever this contemplation that you have emotionally maybe there's someone there that does make you happy and feel good this could also be for some of you a third party situation that's coming in that's making you reassess and evaluate things very similar to capricorn in some ways um you're wanting to gain that stability right you're wanting to gain that security i think more so for yourself aquarius you know maybe you're working towards some kind of financial outcome here and these distractions that you got going on are just no longer serving you it's time for you to come forward speak the truth here with the king of swords and let people know or let others know like this is where you stand this is what i'm doing all right um the four of pentacles i'm really getting a sense of um you know wanting to hold on to the assets that you have yes in some form this could mean being blocked being you know with withholding um but i'm getting more of a sense like it's just like you really want to hold on to what you have but not in a negative form more so to um your security and maybe even your self essence just to stand strong with who you are and not allowing anybody to pull you away 
from, you know, something that you don't necessarily want to do. Like if your focus is to accomplish a task, you really want to accomplish that task. You want to be determined with it. You have the nine of wands right underneath that, which could mean boundaries and kind of blocking others. All right. Trying not to get swept up into that uh, energy of being distracted. And I feel like with the three of cups energy, there is a distraction here. Giving you that contemplation on do... I want to continue living my life and being surrounded by this energy that could potentially distract me or do I want to move my focus on something else and try to accomplish the goals that I need. It needs to be communicated, hermit mode, definitely trying to think about what you want Aquarius for yourself, okay? With the Six of Cups being out underneath, this is relationship based. I feel like for some of you it is relationship based, uh, past relationships, somebody that's just been in your life. Um, for a time now and maybe just trying to have to disconnect from them because they're distracting you from your the goals that you really want for yourself the wishes that you have for yourself and kind of putting up those boundaries kind of putting up that block just so you can move past uh this distraction not saying you have to move you know push them out of your life but just to block from the distraction so you can focus on what it is that you truly want with the page of swords being out i'm really getting also like uh i mean i know like in some cases it means like somebody's looking or somebody's spying on you i really feel like more so that people around you or this distraction might you know want to keep tabs on you in a way because they see that you're pulling away but i also feel like it also is something that's a, a new insight coming in for you you seeking knowledge you seeking clarity you seeking things that are going to enhance you towards the goals that you want aquarius the things that you desire um the communication that has to come in with this king of swords and to bring in that stability with the king of pentacles is a very strong so this new um, concept or new way of thinking that's coming in for you, I feel like is going to propel you into whatever it is that you are desiring here to detach yourself from the distractions of whether it's a relationship, a person, it could be friend, family, lover, it doesn't matter. It could be just another scenario going on that you just don't want nothing to do with anymore and you're ready to just put down the swords and move on to the new dawn and focus on your assets focus on the things that you got and block any other negativity or anything that's distracting you away that's what i feel like okay like i said doesn't mean you have to sever connections it just means you're kind of putting up a boundary here and saying you know i'm not gonna go that far with that i have to do this so you you know we can still communicate but you know i'm not getting swept up into that it's taking me off the path that i want for myself hermit mode okay so what advice do we have here okay this is a lot of cards hold on i'm gonna put these all back for a minute and i'm gonna take the one that's upright which is the seven of cups so <clears throat> this is the the spirit saying yes you have plenty of opportunity available to you that can bring in happiness that can bring in fortune that can bring in wealth that can bring in just things that overflow with joy for your own soul here and i feel like you do know that aquarius i feel like you've been contemplating that what other advice do we have for aquarius here the sun true happiness freedom breaking free just living your own life living the things that you enjoy right i'm gonna take that one and the queen of swords so definitely speaking the truth that you need to have you have to speak that truth. Of course, with the Queen of Swords, she's a little more compassionate, right? And she has a little more feeling behind her, a little more of that um, understanding where I feel like this is more of a harsh, you know, a harsher, I should say, direct communication. And that's what you probably do need. But Spirit is also encouraging you to don't forget the compassion behind your words, okay? Yes, you want to be free. Yes, you want to do your own thing. Many opportunities out there for you, Aquarius, for you to just do whatever it is that you want to do and get away from the distractions that's keeping you off your path. But doesn't mean you have to be too cold-hearted, okay? Like, yes, you want to speak your truth. But, you know, the Spirit wants to remind you that have a little bit of compassion behind it. There's water behind her. Have a little compassion okay and go with your intuition as well um and do your thing so that's what i have for you aquarius i love you guys bottom of the deck is the devil 
so detaching yourself from that energy that toxic energy like i said you are in the hermit mode trying to gain some kind of clarity here and you will gain that and you will know that so until next time bye guys